It was born from the land, an expression of joy and community in the face of bleak winter. It is a game, yes, but also a tribal ritual, a blood bond handed down from generation to generation. All right, all right. Kill it, kill it, kill it. What the hell was that? It's the new opener for the network playoff coverage. Yo, we're supposed to sell fire on ice. You know, this, this, was, uh, this was kids with frozen snot. Who did this? Well, Ian is the director. Ian? I'm going to say, and where, where is Ian? Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. But listen, with, with a name like that, Ian, you, you wouldn't by any really weird chance, you, you wouldn't be Canadian, would you? What does that matter? Hockey is universal, eh? And when they... He said, hey, get him out of here. I said, get him out of here. Yeah, how many times do I have to tell you people you do not hire Canadians for these jobs? They don't have the first clue how to sell hockey. In fact, they don't know anything about hockey. Must I do everything myself? Hello out there, we're on the air. It's hockey night tonight. Tension grows, the whistle blows, and the puck goes down the ice. The goalie jumps and the players bump and the fans all go insane. Someone roars, Bobby scores at the good old hockey game. Oh, good old hockey game. It's the best game you can name. And the best game you can name is the good old hockey game. With the final flick of a hockey stick in one gigantic scream. The puck is in, the hometown wins. It's a good old hockey game. Oh, the good old hockey game. It's the best game you can name. They run that opener and the Sun Belt's gone before the tip off. Yeah, I know that, Joe, and it's called Face Up. No, your secondary said Andrea called about dinner seven at Levan on West 69th. You better get going. Yeah, well, not before I roast the board of directors. The network needs those rule changes. Mike Dirk on two. Yeah, that's stiff. You see, this guy's cue is practically nil. We have to drop him. Dirky buddy, hey, yeah, how are you Brent doing? Parker, sports yeah, we were just talking about you. Do you got my lucky pants back from the cleaners? They got the ginseng stain out? That's great. You see, those things are priceless. Billy Masienko scored three goals in 21 seconds with those pants. Oh, yeah, Mike. Okay, yeah, go on. Is. Clark Broderick at the director's meeting. Hey, Clarky, how you doing? How's Barbados? Yeah? <laughs> you got those rule changes? Well, because the network asked me to liaise with you. That's why they really want those changes. You know how long it took you guys to get a network TV contract. Oh, wow, I'm, I'm just an agent. Right, like Everest is just a mountain. I rep 14 of the top 20 scorers in this league. I control their endorsements, appearances, and promotions. Without me, you can't get your stars to call a bingo game. <laughs> and, okay, okay, Clark, you listen. And the thing is, too, what, I think four quarters, that makes sense. I mean, doesn't that make sense to you? And what the hell kind of game has three halves? All right, all right, listen, listen, listen. Okay, no, Clark, you listen. Ooh, ooh, calm down. Look, I, I tell you what, you do this for me, and I will back off those shootouts till next year. Oh, come on. You thought I was wrong about that glowing puck, too. Hey, I got an idea. You talk to the boys. I'll wait on the line. What's next? I had them booking a flight to Hamilton. Oh, were the flights to hell all full, were they? The Steelheads really want McNally back. Hometown boy and all. And they're just one game out of the playoffs. Who cares what Hamilton was? What was the league doing when they let them in? Dropping acid? And what the hell kind of name is Steelheads? I think it's a fish. Yeah, I know it's a fish, Joe. That's my point. Fish don't sell sports. What about the Miami Dolphins? Dolphins are mammals. Mammals sell. Fish don't sell. All right, here. Take the Albuquerque group. Tell them that, yes, I would love to rep their franchise if we get happy on the money. Clarky, hey, you know, it's like I'm just, I'm waiting here. All right, uh, Albuquerque pants, rules, uh, mammals. You see, why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? You forgot me again, Brett. I realize, you know, I, I put my job before our relationship. But I want you to know, Andrea, I can change. Good. Well, change into a column on Versace Spring Collection. My deadline's in two hours. Okay, Andrea, I give you my word. All right, from now on, from now on, everything is about us. Okay, I mean, from this second on, I ignore all distractions or I am not... Brett Parker. Right. It's the car. Listen, Andrea, I'm gonna call you, okay? Hey! You and I can go to that place in the Cape when I get back from Hamilton. You're going to Bermuda? Huh? No, Canada. I was in Hamilton on a shoot last year. It's in Bermuda. No, I know, but this is a whole different kind of place. This is Hamilton, you sons of bitches, not Anaheim! This town knows how to work! He's 
killing the high-priced talent again. Well, that's why they call him Terminal Todd. So, what's your plan with Parker? I'm going to have lunch with him, and I hope to get McNally back into harness. With what money? Why should we need money? We got him under contract for Pete's sake. Yeah, well, with Parker, it's always money. Hey! Knock it off! That's right, boys. Knock it off! Hey, hey, hey! Save it for the game! Here it go, Todd. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I just got to finish this call, Ray. So, Mr. President, how is that Nike deal coming anyway? And now I'm Mr. President. What? No, no, I'm just scaring the natives with my black magic. Listen, uh, I'm in town for the day. You want to get together? Yeah, like I'll drop everything to see you? That's great. So I'll see you at two lanes at five, OK? I got to go. Hurry up. It's hotter than hell out here. Damn league. May, and they haven't even started the playoffs yet. All right. Mmm, I see the steel mills are still in business. Let's get started. I thought we were going for lunch. Yeah, but then I, I realized that we're in Hamilton. I didn't think the limo would fit into a drive through So, let's go. You might want to show the general manager of the big league team some respect. Yeah, I might, but all I see is the general manager of the Hamilton Steelheads. So. Listen, you loader. <laughs> all right, all right, calm down. That was just was a joke. Well, speaking of jokes, how is the old man? He's still taking his medication, isn't he? Mr. McArdle is fine. He lets me run this hockey operation as I see fit. And what I'd like to see right now is McNally's sorry keister in uniform and on the ice. I can't do that, Ray. He's totally booked out in L.A. He's got licensing, appearances, and, you know, of course, he's got his acting career going now. Acting? Yeah, he's got three episodes on a soap, Love Mountain. It's actually pretty good. Have you seen that? He should be here right now. You got no right to hold him out like that. Yes, I do. You still owe him that bonus. Oh, $500,000 for 40 goals. He's only scored 38. 43? You count exhibition. They don't count exhibition games. That's why they're called exhibition. Wow, you're turning this really weird color, Ray. You should watch your BP. You might want to lose a few pounds, too. Well, Madam President. Hello, Parker. Has Ray punched you yet? Uh, no, not yet. He's got more restraint than I do. Can we have a word in private? Certainly. Would you excuse us for a minute, Ray? Excuse us, Ray. After you. So, what's the update? The Houston group has the cash. Oh, that's good. And what about the fans? In Houston? No, in Hamilton. League won't let a franchise move unless it loses local support. Right. Which is why we agreed you'd hold out McNally. No McNally, no playoffs. No playoffs, no love. Right. Except your boss, of course. You know, McCardle, he's lived here all his life. He's not going to want the team to move to Texas. The team is shortening his life. Yeah, but you run his company. It's not his health plan. <laughs> you know the one thing I like about you, Mr. Parker? <laughs> What's that? You know absolutely nothing about me. And I'm very proud of that, Miss Blessed. Well, all right, you handle McCardle. I got to go pretend to talk to your GM. OK, so let's say the team was going to move. It's not going to move. Yeah, but just say, where would you want to go? Someplace in the States. They got decent tax laws and uh, a real dollar. <laughs> and you can walk down the street without everybody telling you why you lost last night. It's because they don't care. I'd rather put up with the problems up here than put up with that. You got to say that, Sim. See, you're the captain. Mia, I've always dreamed uh, of being someplace where no one knew me. No pressure. I dream of finally making the playoffs. Without McNally? <laughs> He's a jerk, but he puts the buck in the net. All we have to do is win this last game, and we're in. I just wish it wasn't Philadelphia. We haven't beaten them all year. So what? What are we here for? We're here to play hockey, and we're here to win. What else is there? Call in the bin. General Dynamics went up 20 points. I made 14 grand during practice. <laughs> American. Got to face the facts, Ray. You're not going to win without McNally. Slamming in those goals and doing that cool salute. 
Somebody's gonna run him for that someday. We did a focus group. People love that salute. Real hockey fans hate it. We're broadening the base, Ray. You're living in the dark ages. Well, hey, you're living in Hamilton. All right. Now, that's enough about the town, okay? Now, I wasn't gonna do this. But here, I came across it the other day. Yeah, so? So what? Take this. So what, Ray? Just because you happened to uh, coach me when I was like, uh, what, 12 there? Nine to 14. So, does this mean I should ease up on you then? This is who you were. A Hamilton kid. A good hockey player. Not good enough to make it though, right? Right, Ray? So, whatever. You know, I had to find another way to make the game pay. So you end up screwing your hometown. Hey, listen, uh, you know, not so loud on the hometown stuff. No, I prefer that not getting around. Hamilton is who you are. I don't care who I am. Every man cares who he is. It got in my way. I got past it. You got past it. <laughs> you can't... Oh. So I'll see you at two lanes at five, okay? I gotta go. Look, Michelle, the guy died. You know, right in front of me. It was kind of a shock. Get over yourself. Everybody forgets me. Look, I I'm sorry that I stood you up. You know, from now on, uh... You know, I'm having a lot of trouble concentrating in this house. And that subject change would be... Avoidance, right? Give me a break. Why? I grew up here. Yeah, and I live here. My mother lives here. Your mother goes to Florida whenever the weather's bad. In Hamilton, that is all the time. And she's not just your mother, you know. I know. I mean, she's my grandmother, too. It's not like you have exclusive rights to her. OK. OK, look. Let's start over. Mm. Uh, how is your mother? I don't know. She doesn't call much from the ashram. The what? The ashram. It's where Buddhists live. Your mother is a Buddhist? Oh, you didn't know. Well, you know, we don't talk much and... Yeah, that runs in the family. When I got early acceptance to McMaster, I kind of told her it was okay if she wanted to split for a while. I mean, all those years she put into me, she ought to get some time for herself, right? Well, I guess that kind of means I'm your main parent now, then. <laughs> What's so funny? Um, my, my, my parent. I like that. I... I don't even know what to call you. Well, I don't, I don't know. What, what about Dad? I don't think so. Why not? Dad is something you earn. Like Major or Doctor or something. But listen, I, I am your father, you know. I paid the bills for 17 years. I said earn it. Not buy it. Look, I don't want to be unfriendly, but... The best thing that you can do for me now is just keep sending checks, okay? I mean, it's only for a few more years, and then I'm out of your hair for good. Michelle, I don't, I don't want you out of my hair. Listen, I, I want to, uh... Yeah, I don't know, you know you, or, or something. I, I want to be around you. Yeah. Like the other night in that restaurant. It was nice being together like that. Dad. Eternal rest grant unto Raymond, O oh Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace.
Coach. Coach. What do you want? Well, nothing. I just uh, wanted to say, uh, you know, how sorry I am. Sorry? For what? <laughs> you didn't kill him sooner? What? You kill him? With despair. With anger and heartbreak. I know that man 37 years. You know that? That's more years than you've been alive, and every one of them was a pleasure. Think someone's going to be able to say that about you when they plant you, Mr. Parker? I, I don't think about it much. No. I guess you wouldn't. Hey, Slick, come and have a Dow. A what? A Dow. Ray's brand. I haven't had one in 30 years. Of course, on the night in question, I had about 30 years worth. No, thanks. The team owner wants you to have a pop, son. A Dow. I love a beer with just one syllable. It's simple. Like me. No, thank you. I built my fortune on hard work and slag. You ever been near hot slag? Huh? N no. Well, I haven't got a single nose hair left. Because of the slag, I mean. Not because I've been tweezing them like some cake boy. That's a wee wee, never smart. Anywho, I got a proposition for you. Have a bugle. They're the tasty snack that's made of corn. That's the proposition? Ray loved the bugle. And here's to him. He was like a brother to me, you know? Yeah, well, he was kind of like a father to me, so... Is that why you killed him? Some Oedipus thing? Wow. Listen, what is it with you people? I did not kill him! Of course you did. My first thought was I was gonna hunt you down and kill you. I even brought my gun with me. I left it in the trunk, though, you... Can't bring a rifle to a funeral. I learned that lesson. So, I said I'm not gonna shoot him. I had a better idea. I'm glad. I said don't kill the amoral cutthroat rat bastard. Hire him. Hire me. For the Steelheads. Do you like that name? I thought of that name. Steelhead's a fish, you know. Yeah. The Anadromus rainbow trout fights like a bugger. <laughs> what are you talking about, hire me? Well, you're gonna be my new general manager. You are crazy. Uh, what do you say? <laughs> I have no reason to take that job. Well, maybe you'll find one. On the way to the airport? I don't think so. Strange things happen, kid. Not to me. Strange things! Hi. Don't go to the airport. Ever again? No, no. I'm not on the flight. Uh, they've offered me a job up here. What kind of job? The general manager of the Hamilton Steelheads. You're not taking it, are you? No, no, of course not. And I am trying to move this team to Houston. You know, if I did become GM, I, I could have them out of here in no time. Is that... I, I didn't tell you this, did I? All right, here's the thing. Is the Houston group has uh, cut me in on their concessions. Uh, parking and beverage. It's, it's worth millions of dollars, and all I have to do is get the steelheads to move there. Isn't that a conflict of interest? No, no, there's no conflict. The whole thing's in my interest. What about your agency? Uh, yeah. Uh, well, I, I could put the agency into a blind trust, I suppose. You've decided to take this job, haven't you? No, no, no. No, of course not. Liar. Andy, I don't lie to you. Sure you do. I don't mind it. Usually you're just trying to make me feel good. Except this time it's not working. Hey. What are you doing here? I'm working for you. You, you can't be. Duff told me he was going to make the offer, but I mean, 
You can't. We have a deal. This is better. Look, we have to get Hamilton to hate this team, right? Wait. So? So, I mean, I'm holding up McNally, and that's good, but it's not enough. Now that I'm GM here, I can do anything. Like? What if I got rid of Mark Simpson? Get rid of the most loved guy in the history of the city. Let's get you in the parking lot. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Fan support evaporates, and you and I are on a flight to Houston. Yeah, except we're past the trade deadline. Yeah, I'm not gonna trade him. I'm gonna make him quit. Make Mark Simpson quit? Yeah. Are you nuts? No, just uh, diabolical. See you. No. I understand that this is a, a difficult thing. You know, I knew Ray. I knew him as well as you did. You know, better maybe. And uh, I realize the team's having a tough time. But I think this is due to a lack of goal realization. And I thought it was from a lack of goal scoring. <laughs> <laughs> but I plan to change that. First of all, I'm working on getting McNally to come back. You're not going to make us play with glowing pucks, are you? <laughs> Well, maybe if they glowed, you'd stop more of them. <laughs> Look, as many of you know, I didn't want to take this job, all right? But you killed the last guy, so you had to take it. Look, you guys can think whatever you want to about me, all right? Yeah, whatever. But there are going to be some changes around here. Uh, those of you who are tough enough will survive these changes. Uh, I'm not sure how many of you that will be, but uh, well, I guess we'll find that out, won't we? Thanks a lot. Oh, Mark, uh, you want to drop by my office once you're dressed. Thanks, guys. Oh, yeah, and send me the deal memo on the Dubois extension. Huh? Yeah, and uh, look me into the agency email under a phony name. Hi. Hi. I'm Renata. Uh, will you be needing me? Is that a trick question? <laughs> Congratulations. You are the 23rd executive in a row. Answer that line in the same humorous manner. Uh, Joe, I'm going to go, okay? Okay. Uh, Renata, I I'm, I'm sorry, and, and you would be, um... Uh, well, I would be a neurosurgeon, but, mm, couldn't stand the scent of the bone saw, so I decided on a career in the personal assistant field. I worked for Ray Malone, so... I don't know if you're keeping me on. Oh, oh right, right. Uh, and, and, and what do you, uh, what do you do exactly? Oh, well, I could say things like, your limousine caught fire. My limousine caught fire? No, that was just a test. Oh. Uh, but Mark Simpson's here to see you. All righty, well, I guess you got the job. Thanks. So why don't you go ahead and send Mr. Simpson in? We need to discuss his retirement. <sighs> Mark will never retire. Yeah, he will. He just doesn't know that yet. Thanks, Renata. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, you want to see me? Yeah, hey, I'm the new guy. You're the captain. Come on in. Cl close the door. Sit down, please. Look, I just, uh, I thought this would be a good opportunity for us. We could sit down, you could tell me a little bit about the team, and uh, I could tell you about my plans. All right. Well, uh, we're in tough most nights. We can't out-talent most teams, but uh, we play the trap, look for the opportunities. Mark, 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 Mark. You don't have to talk to me like that. I'm not some drunk, depressed reporter with a mortgage and a deadline. Okay, I'm the guy who's marketing this team. See, what I'm going to do is go for this whole outlaw kind of thing, you know? Kind of like the Oakland Raiders. They play football. Maybe create a Dennis Rodman for hockey. That's basketball. That's marketing. You see, I'm going to create a storyline around the Steelheads. What is this, pro wrestling? Now, those guys are brilliant. They don't even have a sport, Mark. They sell story. Now, that's what I'm talking about. And this is where you come in. <laughs> no. This is where I go out. You're not talking about hockey. Mark, this is the new hockey. The new hockey. You know, I can't even look at the tape of my 400th goal because it's got that glowing puck on it. Puck, puck, schmuck. I don't like you. And I don't like what you do. Storylines, marketing, that's not hockey. Okay, um, well, what is it? It's, it's where I'm from. And that's it? All right, no. Listen, hockey is a river of money. 
that you swim in or you drown. All right? So are you with me or are you not? Not. All right. Well, fine, yeah, you're gonna have to expect a trade then. You can't trade me. I'm from Hamilton. I took a pay cut to come here. <laughs> what moron of an agent would let you do that? My wife. Ooh. Don't trade me. Well, you're not helping me. Help you? What does that have to do with anything? You're not helping me. I mean, I know this used to be the Mark Simpson team, but I'm telling you, this team belongs to me now. And you gotta, you gotta help me. I mean, I, I don't... To be honest, I don't see that you have a choice. You're wrong. I do. I can quit. Listen, Mark, I want you to know that I respect your decision. Okay, hey, we'll retire your sweater. We'll have a Mark Simpson night. Bite me. You see that? Excuse me, Mr. Parker. Hi. Uh, you are, uh... Oh, this is Megan Atwell from the Crown Attorney's Office. It's about your daughter, Michelle Parker, and the money she embezzled. You're not my... Michelle Parker and the money she embezzled. You're not my parent. Hey, listen, check your chromosomes, all right? What? Half of them, they're mine. So what? So what? So parenting isn't about biology? I know that. It's about being there. Right. 24-7, every year. I was there. When? Listen, I never missed a... Payment? Uh, fine. 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 You're not my father, you're my banker. I, I'm glad we sorted that out. All right. Listen. This woman, she is bringing charges against you. She's bluffing. She just wants me to turn in the other kids, which I won't do. Just tell me what happened. <sighs> I had a chance to buy into a snowboard rental deal. I got 10% of business for 12 grand up front. Wait a minute, where did you get 12 grand? The bioethics club. I'm treasurer. <laughs> My daughter into ethics, wow. There is no club, Dad. I made it up to get the money. Oh. Uh you flipped into that snowboard thing. And it would have worked, except for the audit. Hey, I know that feeling. I mean, they never audit before the end of term. I offered them boards against the money, but they turned me down. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just very proud of you, that's all. Listen, I don't want you to worry about this, all right? No, 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 your, your dad's on top of this. It's too late. No, no, you cut deals with these things. I mean, it's too late for you to be a father. Hey, you, you think you're the only one who didn't have a father? I, I didn't really have a father either, you know? I, did I tell you? I don't think I told you that, did I? You never told me anything. All right. Well, uh, my father was a hockey player. He was a career minor leaguer. He was always on the road, and I, I hardly ever saw the guy. But you made up for it with me. No, I was terrified of you. That's my dad, uh, he was got, he got killed driving home from a game one night. And I lost him for good. And so when you, when you were born, I, I was your age. You know, I just thought that, uh, I don't know, I, I figured you'd, you'd be better off, you know, if I just, if I stayed away. So you stayed away from me so that I wouldn't lose you? Yeah. That's, um, stupid, Dad. It's really, really stupid.
flying up the wing. It's Parquet. Over to Hughes. They're putting the pressure on now. Hughes looking for the net. He's tied up by Lawton. And Lawton comes away with the puck. It's a tie game. Anything can happen here tonight. Parquet trying to get things going. He's got Hughes with him. The pass is intercepted by Ryan. Looking it up in the last period of play. Shot in by Parquet. Hughes out. He's hit hard. He's down. The ref doesn't see it. Hughes is back up, though. Ryan crossing the line. He shoots. It's knocked down by Larry Bell. Down the last five minutes of play. Cleared out. And Lawton is chasing it. He's checked by Hughes. Lawton Defenseman right shouldn't have chased that guy. Yeah. His partner here. Ray. You're dead. Not in the past, I'm not. Right. Here. Want a bugle? They're the tasty snack that's made of corn. What are you doing here? Well, you're thinking about your past. And I'm part of it. I mean, a boy's coach is important to him. Especially with your dad being away and all. Oh. Hi, Dad. It's a Saturday call. Great. I got a hat trick this morning. He was in the Hershey that year. Whatever. <laughs> it's always somewhere. Well, that's how it is when you're chasing a dream. Come on. He should have been home. No, that's okay. I understand. Look at this. He, sh he shouldn't have been on the road at 37 when he was never going to make it anyway. Hockey made him a sucker. It's never going to do that to me. Is that why you live like this? I mean, money, power, all that crap. Are you going to tell me something better? Well, I could. But that would be cheating. Well, I got to go. There's a big game in heaven. Toronto and Montreal. Toronto and Montreal. <laughs> <laughs> they play every night. It's heaven, isn't it? Figure you'll survive the day? Odds are good. Simpson announced his retirement due to differences with management. There's a newser at 11. We'll ace it. What do you mean, we, you white man? Oh, fine. I'll do it alone. You're not worried? I'm never worried. Besides, that's, that's OK. I'm going to spin that thing away from Simpson. Not if you turned up naked. Oh, let's not get into your fantasies here. You can't get into my fantasies. You're too small. Oh. Uh, by the way, I uh, signed McNally this morning. What? I, I got him out of that soap opera. That thing was a piece of crap anyway. Why would you sign McNally? We could win this last game if he plays. We'd be in the playoffs. Yeah, what? For one lousy round. We had a deal. Look, we still have a deal. The Hamilton Steelheads are going to be in Texas. They're going to be there by June. Nothing to worry about. Look, if we win a round, it's, that's going to help the price. But we don't want to help the price. We can't do anything to strengthen cash flow. The league wants to keep us here, remember? I, I can handle the league. Oh, my god. What? You're getting invested. You care about this team. Please, like, I, 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 nothing's changed. I'm here because I want to move this team to a market that deserves it. And so what? I, you know, we win a couple games on the way. I don't see what's bad about that. You're back on the pond with the other little boys. No, please. You want to win. Look, nothing's changed. You know, we got a deal. We still have our deal. That might have been true yesterday. Right now, I don't know what we have. And you don't either, do you? <sighs> Yeah, hi, it's me. Change of plan? Call in the note now. As in today. By end of business then. Just bankrupt my hockey team. Look, Renata, I haven't seen my daughter since yesterday. It's not like her to disappear. Just keep calling around for me, okay? Uh, maybe it is like her. <laughs> How the hell would I know? Michelle? No, 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 I thought you were. What? Oh, what do you mean they won't let McNally through customs? Come on, he was born in Canada. No, no, he, he doesn't need a work permit. He's got dual citizenship. Look, just tell McNally to go back to the customs guy and admit he's Canadian. Mr. Parker? What? There's trouble with the players. OK, I'll be right down. What's going on? Take a look. What's gotten into them? 
Or maybe it's this. Hello. Hi. Hi. That's you. That? Yes. I need to move the team to Houston. Well, you didn't think you were my only plan, Brett. See ya. See ya. It's not over, Colleen. I never lose. Check this guy out. What? Daddy, it's Michelle. Michelle, where the hell are you? I looked in 111 donut shops last night. I'm in jail. They took my fingerprints. Look, stay put, all right? Like I have a choice. So let me get this straight. I'm, I'm in your custody? Yeah, custody. Don't, don't think about it that way. Uh, yeah, but I have to live with you. Yeah. And they say we have to do this community service thing, you know, together. Couldn't I just go to prison? Listen, it's not gonna be that bad. <laughs> I wanna bet. Listen, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna give you some cab fare, and I want you to uh, meet me back at the ranch, okay? I gotta go. Where are you going? I gotta, I gotta go talk to somebody, okay? I'll see you. Okay, pass it you realize pass you're, it, you're playing it. in the rain out here. I'm aware of that. Listen, Mark, I, I need to uh, tell you something. That, listen, I, I, would, I would never tell anybody else. You're gay. No. Uh, I was at my parents' house the other night, and I had this uh, vision, or, you know, not a vision, a dream or something, of uh, me as a kid again. And I was watching hockey, and I didn't really understand what this was supposed to mean to me, but uh, I, you know, I think I do now. All right, hockey is not... It's not just about money. I know that. I told you that. Yeah, all right, I know. But I see, I'm starting to get it now, you know? I'm starting to remember that, you know, that hockey is... Now, Mark, it's an expression of joy and community in the face of bleak winter. What the hell are you talking about? I don't know. We had this guy, Ian, who was... I don't know, that doesn't matter. <sighs> Look, this, this game is... Uh, about home. Hey, look, no, like you said, you know, it's where you're from. It's where I'm from. I gotta hand it to you. You're a pretty tricky guy. You almost had me believe in this. Okay, the whole truth, all right? I was part of a plan to move the franchise away from here. Okay, that's why I took this job. But now, uh, well, now, I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. But, all right, what, what I do know is that if, if you play tonight, this team's got a much better chance of winning and, uh, and staying in Hamilton. You know, this, this isn't good for me. But, uh, you know, it's, it's good for everybody else. So I, I guess that's what I'm... That's, that's what I ought to try and uh, do. That's a great speech, Mr. Parker. The problem is it comes from you. Et la grande vedette de Hamilton, Richie McNerney, va être sur la glace ce soir pour les Steelheads. Eh bien, Michel, saviez-vous que les Steelheads, c'est un poisson? Un poisson, d'ailleurs, qu'on peut pêcher dans les eaux du lac Ontario, hein? Oh, just a minute, just a minute. Okay, go ahead. With me is Philadelphia head coach Jake Nelson. Coach, you face a Hamilton team in seeming disarray tonight. Yeah, you know why they're in such a mess? Why's that? I'll tell you, Brett Parker. He let this guy take over. He's such a twerp. He gasses his good captain. I'm telling you, it's enough to make you puke. Well, don't sugarcoat it, coach. Tell us what you really feel. I am going to lay a beating on them tonight, and I'll tell you why. The great fans of Hamilton will chase this guy back to New York, along with his jerk friends. This guy is a rat of the first choice, I'll tell you that. <laughs> well, there you have it, the words of Coach Nelson. Back to you, John. Am I great or what? You make my job easy, Any coach. Anytime, kid. Duff, no talking during the anthem. 
Can't abide talking to your name. It's most disrespectful. Also, I want total silence if you ever hear anything by Charlie Chamberlain. Who? The old guy with the hat on Don Messer's Jubilee. I don't know why they ever canceled that show. Other than everybody in it is dead. What do you got in the package? These are my lucky pants. Billy Musienko scored three goals in 21 seconds. He was wearing these pants. Hey, Colleen. Parker brought his lucky pants. He's gonna need them. Come on, let's get going here. Let's get going. Come on, we gotta beat these guys. We're underway with the last game of the Steelheads' regular season and maybe their last game ever in Hamilton. Alexander leaves it for Stepanovic. He flips it up into the Philly zone. Ingerson can't reach it, and here comes Booth for Philadelphia. Oh, and he is labeled by Lalonde. And here's Richie McNally stepping out of the ice for the Steelheads over to Booth. Back to McNally. He's in all alone. He makes the move. He shoots. He scores. There's the trademark victory salute by McNally. Oh, Booth runs up. Oh, man, that's got to hurt. I haven't seen one like that since Joe Theismann of the Redskins a couple of years ago on uh, Monday Night Football. Ouch. I don't think those pants of yours are so damn lucky. Looks like the end of another strategy, Mr. Parker. Yeah, we can still win. Get a grip. You don't want to win. Late in the first period, Hamilton hanging on gamely without their captain or their leading score. But you get the feeling it's just a matter of time. Here comes Philadelphia again. It's Gilbertson in off the wing. He moves in front. Score. All right. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go, guys. Philadelphia brings it right back into the zone. A quick shot. Centered back in front. Another shot. Scores. And the third goal for Philly. again. In on the long skating. Oh, and he's all down. Oh, he's both looking at the time. You think they'll call it? Only two seconds left, but I think they've got to. Penalty, penalty. Oh, come on. I've got the penalty shot. Generous. Yes, thank you. Two seconds left in the game and the most exciting play in hockey. Duncan is set. Here comes Mark Simpson. He goes to the back end. Upstairs, he scores! Simpson! He did it! 4-3 Hamilton. The Steelheads are in the playoffs. The Steelheads are in the playoffs. This one is all over. An incredible penalty shot goal by Mark Simpson makes franchise history. This is one for the books. The Steelheads are going to the postseason. A penalty shot by Simpson clinches the victory for Hamilton. Brutal 
game, brutal game. Losing a team like that should be ashamed of yourself, I'll tell you. Hey, Nelson, nice try. You know, you're pretty cocky, punk. I got to tell you that. That game meant nothing to us at all. Wait till the playoffs, we're going to whip your ass. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. You know, I guess you just didn't have them ready tonight. Uh, good thing I'm not your GM. You know, I'm going to take personal delight in beating any team you're connected with, right. jerk. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, good. <clears throat> Brown suit, black shoes. What a loser. Hello? We yeah. won! Yeah. It's great, sweetie. So am I gonna see you tomorrow? This, this is the thing, is we got you the playoffs! You know, so I'm gonna probably have to stay, you know, a little, just a little longer. Andy, are you there? Andy, Andy I'm starting to lose you. Andy? All right, who the hell is that? It's me, Duff. It's Brett. Oh, yeah. Okay. You're here a little late, aren't you? I live here. You live in Cobb's Coliseum? I don't like how the house feels anymore since the wife passed on. Where do you think you're going, anyway? I don't know. I was... I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> See ya. Yeah. Hey, uh, listen. I think there's something I should probably tell you. Colleen is trying to sell this team. Of course she is. And I'll pay her an almighty bonus if she does. I've been working on that with her. Yeah, well, that's not surprising with the deal you made in Houston. Parking and beverage. Gee. You know. Oh, yeah. I'm not as crazy as I seem. Which is a good thing, given how crazy I seem. I don't understand. You want this team to move, too? Part of me does. Keeps losing money. I put Colleen on that. Part of me wants to keep it here, and that's where you come in. <laughs> Listen, I don't care if the team stays in Hamilton. Oh, maybe you don't. Maybe you do. Everyone says you're lower than the Postal Union. Yeah. But Ray Malone kept telling me you're all right. Ray did? Yeah. Kept saying you had unfinished business in Hamilton, and one day you'd come back and stay. Listen, I am definitely not staying in Hamilton. We're in the playoffs. You got to stay. Yeah, I know. For now, but then I'm gone once they're over. See you, Duff. And those are not Billy Mosienko's pants. Maroon and white. I make them out to be Hershey Bear colors. Your dad's last team. Yeah, my dad's last team. You're right. They're not lucky. They're just his. I don't know why I hang on to them. No one knows why they do anything anymore. There's some things you just have to hang on to. And I'll be keeping you in my high beams. I'll tell you that much. Need a ride? You have a car. Yeah, kind of. Thought you could use a lift back to my place. You mean our place? Don't push your luck. If it wasn't for the court order, you'd be at the Motel 6. Why? Wow, you have some kind of wild social life going on I should know about? Not that it's any of your business, but I happen to be saving myself. For who? Eric Lindros, you know him? I didn't even know that you liked hockey. Yeah, I don't. So, you're gonna hook me up? I've never met him. You are such a liar. I uh, know. Sometimes it's for a good cause. And sometimes not. 